everybody, it's Fawn Princess back with another video for you guys and today what I have for you is another EGL stay at home video. So as everybody knows, a lot of people are still in confinement, still stuck at home and find, trying to find ways to live their Lolita life. Uh, so what I have going on for you today is a video game suggestion that is centered around Lolita and G fashion specifically. So if you're kind of feeling not, you know, quite up to snuff, you can still be in your house coat, but then playing a cute video game and creating coordinates on the go. Everybody and their mother is playing Animal Crossing, but there are other video games out there to kind of scratch that itch. So without any further ado, let's get started. The series of games that I have to suggest to you today is called Style Savvy, also called New Style Boutique in different areas of the world, but in North America, it's just Style Savvy. It's a series of games that was released originally on the DS and 3DS. There's one on the DS and all others on the 3DS. They're mostly available in both physical and digital download. The latest game in the series is actually only available for digital downloads. But the two that I really prefer is Trendsetter right here and Fashion Forward uh, on the 3DS. So the goal of this series of games is that you are a shop owner that has to design their own stores and carry different brands and then answer inquiries for clients creating the most perfect coordinates exactly for their needs. This game is totally not realistic because it goes in the premise and this is not a spoiler, it's really just the setup of a game. You're hired as a shop girl in a store and then the owner suddenly thinks that your styling technique and wondrous grace are amazing enough so that she actually gives you the ownership of the store and goes off to have her own fabulous career. So you are left as kind of a just like a shopkeeper just thrown in there. Suddenly you have to create a, a, like a decor and an aesthetic, design your mannequin pieces, uh, deal with all kinds of different suppliers of all different types of uh, J fashion styles and have a contact with the client. The other part that's really unrealistic is that clients, when they come into your store, it's not just like, oh, do you need something? No, no, I'm good. No, it's like, oh, I would like to be bold and I, I'm i going to this or that event. What can I wear? And then you're like, girl, I got you. And then you go look into your inventory and you pick the exact perfect piece. Then you keep a file on this person about their likes, dislikes, you go to have tea with them, you go out to parks. Who does this? Like this is a little bit of a serial killer material right there because you end up having folders of hundreds of clients just about how amazing like your style selection was. You get to see them wear your clothes while they're going out and be all like, oh my God, you changed my life. So essentially this game isn't really putting you in the shoes of a store owner, but an idealized version of a world where retail is valued and we're not all treated like crap. And in this time of a pandemic, I think that it's exactly what we all need. The game offers a lot of customization options. You can do things like design your own hair and makeup and you unlock different brands and different styles as you go through. Uh, you will design your own apartment and home as well. And also another thing that's sort of unrealistic is anytime you purchase any piece of clothing from a, a supplier, they will send a copy of that exact same piece to your apartment. Which means that essentially you're going to end up with a wardrobe that could make uh, like a Hollywood elite blush, uh, which is just absolutely ridiculous, but so fabulous. So you can just, you, without spending an extra dime of your own money, have the most extravagant wardrobe that you can just decide what you want to look like at a whim. But that's like within your own apartment and then you go out in the town, but it, the customization options go further than that. So as I said, you design your store, you have to pick the songs that are going to play in your store, the front, like the pavement, the look and feel of the building, uh, the mannequin that people can just buy at a whim and decide, I want that exact same outfit. And of course, depending on how you customize your store, you're going to attract a different type of clientele. The game does offer both women's and men's fashion and includes a wide variety of different styles. There's two supplier brands that are Lolita and just to give you an idea how uh, really J fashion this game was, DLC was offered that you could download Baby the Starshine Bright dresses uh, to sell in your store. Liz Liza also did that, which is a Yaru brand. So it was mainstream enough and well-known enough that 
actual brands did partnerships with this game to actually get some of their content in. Though most of those DLCs are Japan exclusive. But it just goes to show you how like deeply ingrained it was in the J fashion culture at the time. And I mean, the latest game came out just a couple years ago, so it's still going quite strong. And uh, that's just something that I absolutely adore. The two stores that are in the game are called, uh, are called Marvel Lily, if I can speak English today. And then the second one is called Raven Candle. Raven Candle is a gothic brand that is just so cute, but also contains some classical Alita pieces. And Marble Lily is more like a baby the stars shine bright, cute and adorable type of store. But this game doesn't just stop with Marble Lily and Raven Candle, go go Lolita fashion. It actually includes a wide variety of J fashions across the board. So you have some visual K and gothic uh, type of brands, such as the stage dive brand within the game, which offers the classical staple pieces, such as pants with skirts on top, shredded tops, all different types of really cool looking fashion. We also have Mint Sprinkle that offers what they call pop fashion within the game, which is actually more Fairy K, Maho K. So think of rainbow colored tutus, cute little details, and really, really adorable accessories. And that is exactly what this brand offers. Another type of style that's included is Gyaru fashion, but it's not just one type of Gyaru fashion, because as you know, it's kind of like Lolita. It's a wide spectrum of styles. You have the softer Gyaru fashion that's more marzipan sky, the brand within the game. So it's softer, more muted palettes, very girly, but still has that kind of little kind of flirty edge. And then you've got other brands like Le Spark within the game, which is closer to what I would consider the Mars brand to be. So a little bit flashier, bolder, some leopard print, some big bows, like really something that's a little bit more extravagant. So you can go from anywhere within that range. This whole game actually makes it so much fun to coordinate even outside of Lolita. So I wasn't just trying to get the Lolita brand and create Lolita coordinates, but I actually brought in all of these different types of Japanese styles and I had a lot of fun coordinating it. Once you've played the scene, your store has a good clientele and you have a certain level of success, you will uh, get prompted to join fashion show contests. So these are things that you can also play online with friends. So it's a way to really reach other people. Please note that you can also visit their own style boutiques if you have, you know, some friends that are connected online. So you can still have some fun with that. But the fashion show contest is really where things happen because the prizes are very expensive and very exclusive clothing. So you do want to try to get in on that action as much as you can. And it's really fun. You get a theme and then your uh, outfits are going to be ranked uh, against other people's outfits. You know, it could be AI or it could be actual people if you've connected over the internet. And they're going to look at things like clashing patterns and uh, colors to really ensure that the person with the highest sense of style appears on top. So that adds a little bit of a competitive edge and a little bit of extra challenge. But you can get really beautiful clothing through that, so it's a really great system to get into. You may be wondering, okay, but if it's a whole series, where do I start? Uh, the DS game doesn't have quite as much content as the 3DS game, so I would really recommend that you pick one of the three uh, that are on the 3DS. But that being said, I do have a soft spot for Trendsetters, the, uh, the game, because I found that it was very focused on really the store management aspect and there wasn't as many like small menial tasks outside of that. I also thought that there was really a nice variety of clothing and, and clothing types also on offering. Other games are also really excellent. I would recommend that you check out different videos about kind of the, the routine that the game puts you in, depending on what the game is to make your pick. But personally, I really like the balancing act of the different uh, design patterns and whatnot to create outfits that was available in Trendsetter. So personally, it, it is my fave. Important note also that with all the clips that we show you, uh, this is only what's in offerings in the supplier store for one day. And it's one day in the game, but not in real life. It's not like Animal Crossing. So every time you decide to go to bed within the game, you get to a new day. And then the suppliers have a whole, like a whole new inventory. So it's important to keep checking in every time you go to bed because afterwards there's going to be new different types of dresses, new fashions, new patterns, new colors, new everything. So there is so many different types of clothing and fashion and styles that you can integrate into your game. I really hope that you give this game a shot because I think that if you are kind of 
wanting to coordinate things, having nowhere to go, this game is a really good outlet to decide kind of on a different design and it's really a lot of fun and everybody needs a little bit of levity in their lives. This game really gives you kind of an unrealistic view about what retail life is really about. That being said, it is so nice to be able to escape in a world where suddenly, uh, you know, you advising clients is actually as important as being a big firm and being a consultant. And fashion is taken so seriously by everybody. I know as a Lolita, it's a little frustrating for me sometimes to encounter, you know, regular people that just do not understand what the whole thing is with wanting to dress in a really extravagant manner. But in that game, everybody is so obsessed with like, oh my god, I have to go to the beach, but I don't really have any cute girl sandals can you recommend something to me but I want it to be chic like it's the end of the world right but I personally really like being in a universe where everybody's so fashion oriented suddenly and there's a lot of respect for those uh, you know those types of careers I really thought that it was a nice way to live your lifestyle so I do hope you guys will take a look at the game let me know what your thoughts are on it. Did you ever play any of the style savvy games before? If so, let me know in the comments below. And if you want me to cover any other types of Lolita games or Lolita characters in games, because Lolita games are a little bit rarer, but Lolita characters in video games, not so much. We have loads in fighting games and things like that. So if that's something that you are interested in. Just let me know in the comments below. And as per usual, guys, I hope that you have an amazing day. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Elizabeth Fallen, please feel free to do so. And if you want to join the Baby Bat family on Patreon, please feel free to do so as well. And I hope that you have an amazing day and be safe, be well. Take care, guys. Bye.